Hi everyone, it's Joni. I'm coming on today to um, do a demo with the Too Faced um, palette. This palette comes in a box that looks like this and it's called Then and Now and um, it's a Too Faced 20th anniversary palette and it has shades from back when the company started in 1998 and it has colors that um, were made in 19, uh, 2018. So um, this is what the palette looks like. It does come with a mirror, I just don't want to blind you. But look at how beautiful those colors are. So I'm going to show you what kind of look I'm going to create with this palette. I haven't used it yet, but I think some of the ca the um, colors are just gorgeous. And I'm an, 80, an 80s girl, so, um, you know, these top colors just, they do it for me. Um, the bottom colors are even better, but I do remember those colors back in the 90s. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so they don't have any, um, like a base coat in here. If you'll notice, well, no, that's a gold one. It looks like it could be a base coat, but it isn't. This is like a shimmery gold. And, um, so are the other light colors that you're seeing. None of them are a matte color. There's only a few matte colors in here. It's mostly like a, a satin finish or a um, glittery finish. So I'm just going to go back to my old favorite, the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette and use their base coat there. I've already applied um, shadow insurance to my eyes um it looks like this and it is also made by Too Faced and um that is currently my favorite it uh i don't know i just find like it's it claims to be a lot of them claim to be crease proof i haven't found one yet that is crease proof for me because I have hooded eyes so I get a lot of creasing right there in the hood okay so now that we've done that let's see what colors so I'm gonna go into my transition with this shade um, nice pink shade and it is a matte shade and it's called um, Gigi so I did it on the one eye, and now I'm going to do it on the other eye. And I'm using a, um, a real nice fluffy brush and just blending it out. So next I decided to go into the crease with um, the color called Villain, which is this one. This deeper purple just because I think the beauty of this palette is all the pinks and purples and I wanted something deep in the crease so I'm going to do this other one and this is with um, a, one of my Morphe crease brushes so I'm just going to go and I really just want to stay in the crease So I'm not looking to go real far above it. I'm taking it out here in the corner a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And just blending it. And these shadows really, they blend very nice. And look at how nice those pinks and purples blend together. I think they're just beautiful. So I want to try something in the corner that's 
really kind of blinged out and that's what this shade just speaks to me so I was just you know I'm putting it on and it's not doing for me what I thought it would let's go to the other eye so you can see a little closer see what I mean I really thought that I didn't tap out my brush I wanted to get all that product on here so I think I mean it, it does have a glitter to it but the pigment I don't see it there so I'm going to um, just spray my brush with some rose water and see if that makes a difference with that color so let's see it does deepen it somewhat let's try the other eye I can see where it deepens it I don't know how much it's showing up on uh, the camera but um, I don't know I don't feel like the color payout is there as much as the glitter is there and it is still very pretty so um, I'm thinking maybe let's go into the uh, inner corner with that and then put some pink in the center Oh, that's pretty that's really pretty so far okay so I cleaned my brush and I want to try this color called Zaza see that color there let's try that one um, in the center and I'm going in with that same kind of um, flat brush let's see what it does and there are lots of pinks to choose from in this palette but I'm going right in the center of the eye like where the light really hits it and I'm feeling like I want to um, go with the deeper pink so Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for um, Reality Star. That is really a bright pink. Let's try it and see what we get. And this brush is still a little wet. I did clean it off, um, but it's still a little damp from the purple. So I've still got this. Oh yeah, that's it right there. That's the color I was looking for in the center. Look at how beautiful those colors go together. So I'm just going to go back with the, um, the color I started with, the base color and just put a little bit of color on it and it's from the white chocolate chip palette their big base color in there um, it's my favorite I use it with almost every look but I just like to kind of neaten things up and you know blend out my harsh um, edges with it you know cuz I, I don't I'm happy with the amount of color that I have I, I don't want to add more color. I just want to blend out any harsh edges. Bring it in the corners and kind of maybe pull that up a little bit. bit. 
and I'll be right back. I'm going to um, put some eyeliner on and I might even try some lashes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there you have it. There is the finished eye look. I um, tried to do a winged um, eyeliner and uh, this eye came out a little better than this one. This one I kind of messed up quite a bit, but um, I like it and with some practice maybe I'll get better at that. And I did put some lashes on and um, I've tried putting lashes on before and it has never gone well at all. And so, um, you know, over time I've watched people do it and it seems to me that the big um, clue in doing it successfully is not to use too much glue and to let the glue dry, like to almost to a tacky feeling. Um, so don't put the glue on and put them on right away. You know, give them um, a little bit of time, you know, maybe less than a minute to kind of let the glue set. And, um, and so I did that this time and they went on real easily. I didn't cut them. I don't know if maybe I should have because people do size things. They seemed sized okay to me. Um, and they're, they're not comfortable for me because I'm not used to wearing them, but they might be if I was accustomed to wearing them every day. They just feel like, you know, different because I, I don't normally wear false eyelashes except for on special occasions. Um, so, and, and these are, um, I will say that these are quite a bit larger than I would pick. These came in, I think, one of my boxy charms. They are beautiful, um, and I do like the way they make um, the eyes look, but um, this would not be a look I would wear to work. This would be like a going out, you know, um, to a wedding or a, something, um, you know, very formal. But uh, anyway, there's the look that I achieved with the Too Faced Then and Now palette. And I can honestly say I love the look. And I'm going to have some fun with this palette. Okay, bye for now.